Latifa, how are you? So I just want to get straight into it, no dilly dallying. Let's talk about this gorgeousness that is on my head. And yes, we're talking about April lace wigs. And this is the Italian Yaki bleached knots, right? And I didn't get the silk top. This is just um, lace all over. It is a medium brown. So if I come up closer, for you to see it does not look when it does not look like a medium brown it just looks like black sorry it's darker than my own hair so this is i have i do have a leave out and this is my own hair at the front right here and it's just my hair is slightly lighter than the wig itself but that's fine i got a 16 inch in length so if i just raise up a little bit it kind of just stops like just bosom yeah the cap size you have to measure your head and whatnot when i measured my hair originally my hair wasn't came row down it was just out in a bun and you know when you've got a lot of hair you have to give allowances anyway now that it's my hair's came road completely flat to my head I've got a bit of excess lace at the back, but because of how I'm wearing it, it's not really a problem. But I do have like maybe that much lace extra at the back. I have not customized this wig in any way, shape or form. When you're paying almost 200 pounds, because it was like 260 something dollars, right? But if you convert it in pounds, it's about 180 something pounds. Even with that being said, it's still quite a lot of money. And for me to want to tailor it and alter it, no, I just, I'm not ready for all of that yet. Once I'm, once I'm comfortable and I've worn it a bit, then I might just go in and so I, that's the back. I have straightened it because it just gives it, gives it a little bit more of a laid down look and when the wig originally came it was very poofy very gorgeous very soft luxurious but just really poofy and although i'm trying to go for you know a more realistic look a more natural look to my own hair type if i were to straighten my hair i didn't want it just go poof, so it's a bit poofy let me talk about the application and how i put this wig on so um, I got my hair braided down completely flat and I'll show you that now um, it's kind of in like a spiral what, what do they call this a beehive braid I'm, I'm not even sure I think it's called a beehive and then I did the side parting on the side because I thought originally that I was going to um, tweeze out or pluck out or dip dye this side so I thought let me just have my part in on this side too. and what I did is um, I sold it down to my head you're thinking what why did you do that now this is just my preference you don't have to do the same thing so I basically I sold it down here there and right at the back you will see as I insert the clips and right at the back so the reason I've done this and not sort of sew it all the way around is because I've want, I wanted to be able to take the wig off at least once a week really easily and deal with my hair underneath, like rinse it, but without having to take out the cane roll, just sort of rinse my hair with the cane roll still there and let my hair breathe for a bit, then sew the wig back on just as I had before. Now, and I also had a leave out, so I've actually got some of my own natural hair out, so this bit right at the front front is out and then the these bits of frizz back up like that as frizz back up so I didn't even bother straightening that but I've left that out and again I've, I've got twisted hair and I've left that out as well but because that's covered I'm not worried about that right now but I, I did that so that should I wish to pull my hair back it doesn't look so obvious that I'm wearing a wig I like to pull my hair back quite a lot and I like it out of my face so even if I have it down like this like just as what you're seeing right now I like to just sort of pin the fringe part just just clip it out of my the fringe bangs you know follow me here fringe bangs you know what I mean just pin it out of my face and with that you can see it just has a more natural and seamless finish it's not so moon heady even though I do have a moon head and also you'll see that because I, I haven't actually plucked out 
um any partings or to be honest i have had a few people mistake this hair for my own so this is how true to the likeliness it is that they're like oh my goodness how did you grow your hair so long and how do i maintain the thickness i'm like babes babes calm down babes this is this is a wig okay so the wig is very soft extremely soft and you know very natural looking this is by far my favorite of all wigs and hair that i've had in the past they're absolutely i cannot say enough good things about this wig like i'm so happy with it that i had to contact the company and tell them my appreciation i highly recommend this wig and guess what i actually have a coupon code woo, 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 woo. so the coupon code is laifa and that's for all my international people you know and if you are based in the uk it is laifa uk and the discount is actually 18 dollars that's for everybody international and then for people in the uk it's 18 pounds because let's be realistic if you convert dollars into pounds it's like what 10 pounds especially my people that are in the state i'm calling you my people because i genuinely feel like you are my people i do have a link down in the description box click on my link do you know what i mean and uh even if you don't want to get it now you want to get it later in the future until my next video think smart work hard make it happen bye